This video provides a brief demonstration of basic design point operations available on the Design Points tab of the Design Points dashboard. We'll cover the following topics creating design points, editing design points, updating design points, and monitoring design point updates. First, open the dashboard by clicking the Design Points dashboard icon. The Design Points dashboard opens to the Design Points tab by default. In the Design Points table, you can create a new design point. To do so, go to the bottom row, type in an input value, and click Enter. The new design point is added. As expected, you can see that the new design point, DP9, is out of date and that no retained data is available. You can also create a new design point by duplication, selecting one or more existing design points, clicking the duplicate selected icon, and editing the input values as necessary. The new design points will be added to the bottom of the table. They'll be created with the design point parameters in an up-to-date state, but with an out-of-date retained data status. Now, I don't want design point 10, so I'll just delete it. And design point 11 is a duplicate of design point 4, so it has the same values. I want to modify this newly created design point. For example, I'd like to change the name to something more descriptive than DP11. To do so, just click inside the name column and type in the new name. We'll change the name to Initial Design. I'd also like to edit the value of this design point's input parameter. As when changing the name, just click in the cell and enter a new value. With the change, you can see that both the design point state, that is, its output values, and its retained data status go out of date as expected. Now, to bring the initial design design point up to date, just select it and click the Update Selected icon. That was a fairly quick update, but notice that the filters in the progress monitor both show that another design point has been updated. Now, let's try a full table update to get a better look at how the progress monitor works. To do so, go over here and click the Update All Design Points Shown in the Table icon. As the update proceeds, be sure to watch the monitor. Gray shows the percentage of design points with pending updates. Green shows the percentage of successfully updated design points. And if they were red, it would show the percentage of failed design points. Now, with the update completed, the monitor shows us that 100% of our design points, all 11 of them, have updated successfully. And this concludes our demonstration of working with the Design Points tab of the AIM Design Point dashboard.